I've got exactly seven days to make $1,000 with a completely new dropshipping store and the challenge starts now. I'll select a product, create a website and drive traffic to it in hopes of achieving my sales goal and you'll get an inside look into exactly how I'm doing it. All right, first things first, we need to choose a product, but not just any product. We need one that stands out from the competition and has the potential to make a massive impact. So whenever I'm considering selling a product, I always evaluate it based on the following criteria. Does the product possess any irresistible wow factor? Whether it's problem solving wow factor or simply visually appealing, you want to leave people impressed and wanting to learn more. Can I generate a ton of captivating content around this product? The reason being is that a product that allows us to create engaging content will help us attract potential customers to get them interested in our store. And then is the market saturated with this product? While competition is a good thing, we also want to make sure that there's still room for us to stand out and make a profit. Now, when it comes to product research, I like to head over to the Instagram Explore page. It's a great way to one, find sponsored ads from potential dropshipping stores and two, to find videos from accounts that are all about showcasing specific products, which would clearly indicate to us that that account is using the dropshipping approach. After spending some time going through posts, I stumbled upon a product that seems to have a ton of potential. The product is a laser attachment for your golf putter yes this product would be perfect for targeting golf enthusiasts and as you guys probably already know the golfing community is super passionate and typically does consist of people that are older for the most part but at the same time are financially well off and this account right here has been posting a ton going viral and generating a lot of engagement given the level of interaction it's safe to assume that they probably made a decent amount of money just from their link in bio where they're selling each unit for 25 bucks so this is the product that i'll be testing all right now i'm all set to start brainstorming a brand name for my product i want a name that is catchy it's easy to remember and relevant to my specific product. So I started to share some details about my product and the competitors on ChatGPT. Then I asked the AI this exact prompt. I wanna sell a product that is a golf laser putter. What is a good brand name that would resonate with the golf community? So I tweaked the chatbot a little bit and eventually landed on the name Flowform Golf, which has a catchy and professional vibe to it. And for those of you that are going about naming your stores right now, just keep it simple and don't spend an entire decade on it. So to make sure the name is available, I checked the domain's availability on GoDaddy. And luckily it was all up for grabs, so I'm all good to start creating the store. So the first step in doing so is choosing a platform that is both user friendly and has all of the features that I need. And just like all my other stores, I'm gonna be using Shopify. And if you guys can see at this link right here, I'm gonna get it for a dollar for the next three months. Now I need to import this product from AliExpress to my Shopify dashboard. This way I can start the editing process and eventually let people get their hands on the product. So I'm gonna be using AutoDS, which is gonna help me easily import this product onto Shopify, but also handle the fulfillment once we kick things off. So we're gonna go ahead and sign up for AutoDS and you can do that at the link. I'll leave a link in the description. So once I'm here, I'm gonna put in my email that I've created for my store. And then from here, obviously we are using Shopify. So we're gonna go with Shopify, continue. And then as far as the ad packages, it's just really contingent on how many products you plan to import. So I'm gonna go with the most popular. You'll be able to see that we do have that 30 day free trial, which is pretty awesome. Click that one. From here, I'm gonna put in my information for my credit card and I'll get back to you guys once I am done. All right, so now we are at the AutoDS dashboard. And then the next thing that I want to do is add my store, add store. And now we're going to install the app really quick. Now we're back at the AutoDS dashboard. So first thing I need to do is add a product, add product, add the single product. And then I'm going to go in and copy and paste my URL link for my product back in here. Edit, edit now. For now, I'm just going to save and import. All right, so now it's in progress and it says complete. So we'll head over back to Shopify. We'll go in to the products and then it should populate. Yep, we can make any changes as needed from the description, the title, the images, the variance, the price. Now it's time to get video creators for my product and I wanna be ready for the advertising phase as soon as possible without wasting any unnecessary time. So to streamline this process and make everything easier for me, I'm gonna be using viral ecom ads to order high converting UGC based videos for my product. And since it's quarter four, when things start to get really crazy, using them is gonna give me more leverage in running more split tests with different creatives for this product. And if you guys remember from the last challenge video, I used them and the creatives came out great. So I'm back into my computer 
and do that right now. All right, so we're on to viral ecom ads and they have different types of ads. They have video ads, image ads, UGC ads, animation ads, and VIP members. So the VIP members, it's gonna allow you to get 75% off of all video ad packages plus 24 hour delivery. So that would be useful if you're trying to do this in a time crunch is this TikTok split testing package. So once I sign up as a VIP member, then I'm gonna get it for 12.50, which is 75% off. And then on top of that, get it within 24 hours. I'm gonna go with the three TikTok split testing package. Then I do need text on here. And then also I am gonna add a voiceover. So after I pay, I'm gonna submit my form with my AliExpress link, and I should receive the video within the next 24 hours, which is gonna be perfect. So like I said, we might as well get this done sooner than later so that I can get the video ads starting tomorrow. We're just a few steps away from laying out the entire foundation. The last thing that I need to do for this store is choose a theme and then customize that theme to establish the trust with my potential buyers so that they feel totally comfortable with purchasing from my website. And some solid free themes that you guys can use are Refresh, Sense, and Dawn. We've actually done quite a bit today, so I'll be dedicating the rest of the night to just working on editing the store, and I'll give you guys a progress update tomorrow once everything is finished. And I just wanted to mention that I'll be giving away this store since I'm already running my main brand. And I do these challenges to show you guys that dropshipping is still a viable business model to build a legitimate brand. So that being said, to enter the giveaway, all you need to do is like the video, leave a comment about a place that you've been wanting to travel to, and make sure to be subscribed to the channel. That's it. And the winner from the last challenge video is Langer5249, send me a DM on Instagram and I will shoot you the details to the store. All right, we are back. I managed to finish up the store. So let me show you what I've worked on. We can hop into the theme customization tool on Shopify. This is the website. So I went with a pretty straightforward colorway, which is like a dark green on white. And each of these texts is broken up with an image. So we have a text, we have an image and then text. And then we have a GIF here. In my opinion, it looks Pretty sleek. I also added a featured product on the homepage, but most of the traffic is gonna be directed to the shop now tab, which is gonna be the product page. So I'm selling each unit for $29.99. By the way, I just got the video creatives from Viral Ecom Ads and I was kind of just waiting for them to send it over so I can start driving traffic to my store. Uh, we can check out the first video. So this is the first one. Uh, they also sent two more, so we can go and look at those. Here's the other one. Attention all golf aficionados. If you're pretty awesome, they're using the 11 Labs AI voiceover, and this is the other one. Now that I have the creatives, I can finally start getting people onto the website, and to do so, I'm gonna be using TikTok ads where we'll be allocating $50 per day for the remainder of time that we have left with this challenge. And right now, TikTok is doing this absolutely ridiculous offer where they're gonna give me back whatever I spend on ads for up to $1,500. So that $250 that I'm gonna spend, I'm gonna get right back. And I'm sure some of you guys are probably wondering how you can redeem that same offer. So I'm just gonna leave the same exact link that I'm gonna sign up for in the description. I don't know how long this offer is going to last or if it's going to still be available by the time I post this video, but you guys can always try. All right, so I went ahead and created my campaign, but so I don't completely pour you guys to death, I'm just going to break down what I did. For the advertising objective, as always, I went with website conversions since I'm aiming to drive sales. So I went ahead and implemented campaign budget optimization, which is going to allocate a daily budget of $50. Next, I selected my pixel and chose complete payment as the optimization event, auto placements, and for locations, I went ahead with US and Canada. As for age and gender, I went completely broad and for interests and behavior, I went with golf, professional golf, and the hashtag golfing. Onto the last part of the campaign, I added all three of those videos that Viral Ecom Ads sent me, and then I copied and pasted my product page link from my website. And here's a cool little hack that I like to do, and you guys can totally try this out on your own source too. So I went to Facebook's ad library and searched for a competitor. So what I did is I took their exact ad copy, then I went into ChatGPT and asked the AI to follow a similar structure from the ad that I just pasted in there, but come up with three new versions, each under 100 characters long. After the text was generated, I pasted it in, submitted my campaign, and once the ads are approved, it'll start spending. So I'll get back to you guys with an update. What is up guys? We now have two orders on the store. I was at a cafe working. This is my phone from when the second order came in. I don't know if you guys can see, but we can go in and also look at the Shopify dashboard. If you guys can see, so we have two orders, $59.98 in revenue. 
things are looking pretty good. I'll give you guys an update after the ads have been running for a full day. One day later. We are back. The ads have been running for a full day. Now you saw my first two sales, but I have even more good news. So let me flip over the camera and show you on my computer. So we're on the Shopify dashboard right here. We can see that's $119.96 in revenue, 136 sessions, 2.94% conversion rate, four orders, 29.99 average order value. If we go on to the TikTok ads right here for that ad set that'll be created $50 cost. CPC, the CPM and the CTR look pretty good. Uh, for those four conversions were tracked and then the cost per acquisition is gonna be 1250. It's just gonna be 50 divided by four. But yeah, I thought I'd just give you guys a quick inside look into the Shopify dashboard along with the ads manager. Now I know it's nothing too, too crazy, but if you guys remember, I'm only spending 50 bucks a day on TikTok ads. So I'll see you guys later with another update. Let's hope it's a good one. What is up people? Not so good news today. Uh, we had $89.97 in revenue, which was three orders. We spent the $50 in ads. So in hindsight, that's not horrible. I think we might've broken even or been slightly unprofitable. But last night I decided to make a few changes going into day five. So I went ahead and removed that free shipping option and started charging $4.95 for shipping. But I also created a free shipping minimum spend of $35. So basically anyone that spends more than $35 gets free shipping. And on top of that, I also set up an automatic discount that gives 20% off the second that is added to their cart. My logic here is that I'm still getting the same exact amount of revenue for each sale, but at the same time, I'll be encouraging customers to spend more in order to earn free shipping and that discount. So let's see if this ends up changing anything at all. Yo, what is up? So today is actually the last day of the challenge. I didn't end up filming yesterday, but I do have some insane stuff to show you right now. So after I made those changes going into day five we can see that the average order value didn't increase but the conversion rate did end up increasing we ended up closing the day with 184 dollars and 64 cents in revenue that was six orders uh, that were tracked here yeah so those six conversions cost per acquisition of eight dollars and 33 cents so the metrics look great so going into the next day i didn't want to make any changes and just let it do its thing and then yesterday is when things went absolutely crazy like literally crazy you can see that we got 11 orders right here that were tracked i believe they were yeah so 11 orders were tracked cost per acquisition of four dollars and 55 cents four percent conversion rate and 365 dollars and 44 cents in revenue and two of those orders i believe those people bought two units. So yeah, as you can see, the average order value did end up increasing after adding the first ship and minimum of $35 and the bundle discount of two units. So for today, the last day of the challenge, I ended up doubling the daily budget to $100. So hopefully that ends up performing well. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with the complete breakdown of how much money I'll actually end up making. One eternity later. We are back and the challenge is finally done. It's been a full week of building the store from complete scratch. So let's run down the results starting with day three of the challenge. Remember, the first two were pivotal in laying the groundwork, which was selecting the product, setting up the store and the TikTok ads. For our first day of running ads, which was day three of the challenge, we did $119.96 cents in revenue uh, that was four orders so the cost of goods was twenty five dollars and sixty eight cents if we want to count transaction fees that would be three percent so that's three dollars and fifty nine cents remember we're spending fifty dollars on tiktok ads so the total cost was seventy nine dollars and twenty eight cents at a overall net profit of forty dollars and sixty eight cents so now if we want to go into day four we did eighty nine dollars and ninety seven cents that was only three orders so the cost of goods were nineteen dollars and twenty six cents two dollars and sixty nine cents on the transaction fees we spent the fifty dollars again total cost was seventy one dollars and ninety six cents at an overall net profit for day four of eighteen dollars and one cent now for day five uh, this is where i made a few changes i ended up decreasing the price and started charging for shipping and then i added the bundle discount so we did 184 dollars and 64 cents that was six orders and still each person only ordered one unit the cost of goods was 38 dollars and 52 cents transaction fees were five dollars and 54 cents the TikTok tock ad 49 dollars and 95 cents 
So the total cost ended up being $94.06 at an overall net profit for the fifth day of the challenge of $90.58. And then going into day six of the challenge, this is where things started to get seriously spicy. We did $368.44 in revenue. So that was 11 orders. Two of those orders, those people bought two units. That was $81.76 for the cost of goods. The transaction fees were $11.05. The TikTok ads were 50 bucks. So the total cost was $142.81 at an overall net profit for day six of $225.63. All right, so for the last day of the challenge, which was yesterday, this is where I ended up increasing the daily budget on the ads by $50, so I doubled it, but we ended up doing less than the day before, which is $314.45. That was 10 orders. One person bought two units. So the cost of goods was $69.77. I was expecting the revenue to increase by a little bit because I did end up doubling the budget, but I think I might have done it a little bit too early. That's why the cost per acquisition ended up rising so much. We spent $96.55 on the TikTok ads and the cost per acquisition went to $9.66, so basically doubled. But that's fine because the total cost was $175.75 and we ended up still profiting $138.70. So after crunching the numbers, including the cost from the video creatives, cost of goods, TikTok ads, transaction fees, and that $1 Shopify fee, the total revenue was $1,077.46 at an overall net profit of $409.14 for the entirety of this seven day challenge. Now keep in mind with the TikTok ad sign up offer, I'm still gonna get back that $209 in credit, but for the sake of this example, we can just count it. I'm honestly super hyped that the challenge was a success and that I did end up hitting my goal with a brand new product. But this just goes to show you guys that dropshipping is still a viable and profitable business model. Moving forward to build something more sustainable, my first step would be to upgrade to the four to 13 day USPS shipping option that the listing did offer at $4.92 so that customers get their orders much quicker. After that, I would plan to continue testing this product over the next couple of weeks. If the results are still consistent, I would reinvest part of my profits into custom packaging and some graphic design work. This way, when the packaging is ready, I can work with various influencers to create UGC for me, which would really help me differentiate from everyone else trying to sell the same product. And this is how I would gradually transform this project from a traditional dropshipping store into a legitimate brand. And remember, Every one of you has the potential to achieve this. It's just about getting started and putting in the work. That's all I have for today. Put a lot of work into setting this up. So I'd appreciate if you guys just liked the video. See you guys. Peace.